All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan. I just realized I have my orange t-shirt on. Did I also wear that yesterday? No, I actually wore a different shirt. Good. The usual shirt I'm supposed to wear for these streams. Anyway, spent too much time playing Tarkov, so what the bet 2 a.m. again. But I did mostly sleep most of the time, and I'm proud of myself for actually not eating uh, after I had my final meal and not snacking. Of course, the reason for that was because... Uh, playing Tarkov instead of um, <laughs> uh, working on my coding because again the more work my brain has to do the more hungry I get and it doesn't help that's also kind of cold in the apartment still even though it's like fifth, like low 50s out there it's a pretty nice picture of the Eiffel Tower actually so anyway uh, yeah um, I don't know but I think um, I mean likely I'll probably just be playing games again tonight but then Saturday and Sunday I'll probably work on coding because, uh, yeah, it's surprisingly stressful to add all this extra crap. All because, again, I'm learning something new, and then as I do it, I have to obviously problem solve and then fix things because it doesn't work as intended. And, you know, it's just, in general, very, very mentally intensive. All right, so I didn't really do too much pre-research before doing the video, so let's just see uh, what's happening. But, you know, it's going to be another down day. It's actually interesting. Uh, things just keep going down or up a little bit, but it's also down just a little bit each day. So, uh, that's actually fine by me because it, you know, as long as it's not like 900 points, you know, two days in a row, right. And then up like 600 and like, I don't want crazy volatility. I rather have a nice, slow, steady decline. Cause at least, cause at least that means it's a lot more manageable. Right. And of course, as we could have, as we're going to see later, Remel still taking a big hit, but of course that's to be expected because of the real estate stuff. So that's why I have. I saw this article last night after uh, the video, obviously, and then this is from one hour ago, so I just want to take a look at it. Um, but yeah, um, I'm definitely going to be looking to buy Remel again. Uh, however, once it reaches like 50 cents to a dollar, uh, we're, I'm going to have to really take a serious look at it because, again, I want to see, you know, what are they... Because there's going to be some kind of reaction, right, that fundamentally changes what Remel does. Uh, apparently they also because according to this article it has something to do with deleveraging or something but either way at least Reynolds do it pretty good there's also a UBS equivalent but uh, you know after UBS completely screwed me over I'm just not gonna buy their shit anymore plus their their maximum top end isn't even that good anyway not, at least not compared to at least compared to Rebel. so you know Anyway, so basically, uh, same risk uh, less future reward I don't know, I go at Rebel in that case. Bitcoin searches for this week is still 13, so still kind of high, but still off the lows from last week. Uh, Bitcoin Downs is at 65.4%, um, with uh, 24 volume finally picking up at 154 billion. All right, so I had to I had to refresh this page many many times, but apparently it is worth 68.81 because before I started this video, or like 10 20 minutes ago, it was like 6700 bucks. So it looks like crypto is actually back up on the rise. I'm beginning to wonder is uh, all the uh, stock market money flowing into cryptocurrency, right? Because some of it's supposed to be flowing towards gold, but it's, you know, more of it's going to be flowing into uh, crypto instead, right? Uh, I find it annoying that I've got people unsubscribing to me on BitChute because they still want to buy gold and silver. And they're like, why aren't you buying that? Because I fucking hate that boomer shit, all right? I don't buy boomer shit, all right? We, I want to buy the future. Right, because if we do what the boomers want, then we then it's like okay, then let's have a paper currency backed by gold and silver. Then, it, then, every, then the entire progress and everything that we had to suffer and sacrifice for for the last fucking hundred years is completely useless. It's like, are you retarded? And by the way, we did use gold and silver. You know, even after we created the Federal Reserve, we still got you know the Great Depression because we were using gold and silver. Right, because we we're backing everything by that shit. Right, because what's the problem? Gold and silver. All right. I don't want to relitigate this, but the problem is liquidity, right? That's why the Great Depression was so bad, right? I mean, part of it was the Fed, but it's more because everyone was just so fucking rigid about, you know, adhering to the gold and silver standard. That's why eventually we had to get away from it. So, you know, it's not just a conspiracy. There's like actual practical reasons for it. You know, and that's what's happening in the market today, right? You know, like Tom Barrick, billionaire guy said, right? It's a liquidity crisis, not a credit crisis. People just don't have the actual paper money in their hands or in their bank accounts, right? Because again, the economic shutdown, right? But the value, the actual value 
of you know of the businesses and stuff is actually still intact. That's also why I also may consider that this could also just be an actual attempt, like a very dangerous risk taking attempt by the globalists to not only take out Trump, but also take out the middle class, right? You know, to, to make sure that populism is dead in its tracks, which will, of course, fail. Uh, and I'll be right there with everybody else when we, you know, have those treason trials for this shit. It's like, you know, why are, you know, why, you know, the death rates for coronavirus are a lot lower. Why do, were you scaremongering and therefore telling everyone to do shutdowns, right? That's good. Like, I actually read that Dr. Fauci's been getting death threats. I kind of understand why now, right? People are starting to get pretty mad about the shutdowns. So, I don't know. We're, we're just going to have to see what the hell happens. But in the meantime, cryptocurrency is going up. I don't care about anything else. Well, actually, I do care about the stocks. But, I mean, I already we already know it's going gonna, gonna to get worse before it gets better. So, and it's about time that, you know, the stocks finally had their time to shine. They've been, be they've been badly beaten for so long, right? I mean, we've already... Like by the time I started doing my Bitcoin daily videos, right, we we're right basically right at the middle or at the very end of the actual bear market bottom from last year. So, you know, it works for me. Bitcoin's at 68.81. It's up uh, basically 3%. Look at that beautiful, uh, look at the right hand side. It's going straight up at a 45 degree angle. That's pretty much the ideal. Nice, very nice gains, but very stable and steady. So it's going to be up, it's going to be like this for a while, right? You go, hey, let's. Yeah, two trillion dollars stimulus stimulus money has to find its way somewhere. Litecoin's at forty dollars and sixty three cents, so it's lagging a little bit, but still going up a bit. So at this point, I don't care who's doing better. I just want everything to go well. You know, we can worry about like who does which crypto does better later, right? Obviously, I want Litecoin to be the best, right? Because that's where I hold them. that's my preferred asset or crypto. But whatever, it good enough. Uh, dog coins up a little bit, 200 to 234 million market cap, 1.48%. Uh, Steam's been having some rough times, but oh wow, now it's shot up to 18.70 cents. Damn, wish I wish I actually accumulated some more Steam and probably Hive coin yesterday. All right, very well. <clears throat> uh that, let's see so the dow all right so it looks like it's gonna be another down day today rebels down 18.4 percent to 35 cents so right now they're actually starting to release the dividends and whatever so basically i think what's happening is every, every all the real estate and R the m r e i t s i think that stands for mortgage real estate investment trusts or whatever basically all the important real estate companies are now starting to report their earnings and dividends and from that, everyone's realizing, okay, so this is the actual damage. Uh, so if everyone already knows it's bad, but they don't know how bad. So it looks like uh, not bad enough. <laughs> so or they, their expectations were not bad enough, I mean. So now they're starting to dump stocks. Uh, let's see. Unemployment jumps to 4.4%. What? We had 10 million jobless loss claims announced yesterday. How is this only 4.4%? uh well of course the march jobs are going to be disappointing uh okay so here's the emergency small business lending uh the new york city luxury housing market dries up yeah of course so the good news is if i actually wanted to do commercial real estate even here in new york city this could actually be a good opportunity but maybe right i'm still i still would rather do tampa um let's see beset by concerns uh this is an ad Trump pushed for OPEC deal to cut oil supply, draws disbelief, da, 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 awaiting herd mentality. Um, okay, all right, so, all right, so, yeah, I mean, nothing new. I mean, it's just the same old, same old, right? But things are probably gonna get worse before they get better. Uh, again, I still say the next the next bottom I'm looking at is 15,000 down. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at. You know, so far, I mean, and that's a pretty extreme number, I think, based on, you know, the magnitude of the losses when we do have a losing day in the markets. Uh, as for Remmel, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at 50, 50 cents to a dollar, but shit, man. I don't know. Are they going to be able to survive? Yeah. Uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, six to seven uh, for JMC coin. Not too bad. One point, one, it shot up to like 10 for some reason. Uh, so, all right, works for me. Uh, 404 coins back down to five to six. It's probably because everything else is going up in the market. So 404 is usually the first to get hit. Uh, two by two is also taking a slight hit, but still pretty stable at 60 to 62. The increased difficulty, uh, I think they must, I, I guess the two by two guy 
dev must have like you know change the difficulty two by two because like there's not a lot of coins in circulation but it's already pretty difficult to mint coins i gotta make sure my bit heroes is working uh yes and uh please don't be at the first time yes so um yeah, it works for me you know uh, we can get the benefit of high apr and still have good stable prices especially now uh nowadays because right now you know uh, money is going to obviously be tight for a lot of people i haven't i still haven't sold any crypto god it's been like what 13 months now right i haven't sold crypto for fiat because it's not worth it for me yet right i kind of i kind of want to do that right now but i still like what am I gonna do with you know prices like this, right? You know, uh, uh, right? But you know, again, the longer I can wait, the better off. So you know, uh, it's just a waiting game. Uh, cap on coin uh, remains very strong and stable, seventy six twenty three to eight thousand satoshis of dog coin. Have very healthy value, uh, very healthy numbers. It even says the hot price high was nine thousand. So after a long winter, compound coin has uh, started to recover. Very, very good. Uh, if I use Bitcoin Trail Cash Rush, I accuse of money laundering. Uh, don't care. Sorry, I was smashing a dough. Uh, Bitcoin clients more than 50, I see. More than 50% as investors flock to safety. Yep, so people finally realize, you know what, let's just use crypto. We got to put our money somewhere. Uh, Bitcoin briefly top 7K. I say worst of 2020 sell off may have passed. Yeah, okay, very good uh of course of course i told this fucking piece of shit browser to reload and it uh, twice and it doesn't do it uh viche ddd institution crypto custody policy hacker and access support for ripple um bitcoin is about to die so we got oh it's tony vase because he's retarded Coin share strategist Meltem the mirrors or she's worried about digital dollars. It's not everything. It's everything Bitcoin is not. Well, yeah, it's a centralized cryptocurrency. Like, we, it, that's to be expected because we just want we want the fucking government to get into blockchain in the it, like in a, in a general capacity, so that it like so so that everyone thinks, hey, you know what? This digital dollar, this digital euro, this digital yen, it's pretty cool. But I want more money. Like, and then they'll start the process that I did. Right. Hey, I want Bitcoin. So for them, they'll start at digital dollar or euro or wherever they live. Then they'll move on to Bitcoin. Then they'll be like, hey, I want more Bitcoins. What else is there? Oh, there's Litecoin. There's all these other alternative cryptos. Wow, they're different rules, but they're just as decentralized. Then they eventually go, I want a lot of this. So then that's when they'll start figuring out and finding out about proof of stake coins. And that's where we come in. All right. It's where I come in. All right. And that's the because that's the process I went through. Uh, you know, I really do wonder after all this stuff, because I, because I've also obviously I've been working my game, which means I've also been working my dream TV series script. I really shouldn't call it TV series, but whatever, it's just habit. You know, and it's really you know making me think about like you know, like because I already know all the problems with the left, right? We all kind of are familiar with that at this point. But what about the, all the problems with the right? And it's like, yeah, there's a lot of issues. It's like. They will they'll retake power, but you know, as I always say, but I don't think they can maintain it, right? And that's what I want. But they can only maintain it if like they are they're actually empathetic, or at least have some empathy, and they're actually just. And right now, like that just does not seem to be the case, right? Like I just don't get that. Like, I, like you know, whether I look at the true right, you know, or the fake right, or really just anybody in general, it's like I mean, Nick Fuentes has probably a pretty decent amount of empathy, even though it may not seem like it. Compare, like, at least he actually tells his people, like, when he doesn't have to, he's like, yeah, don't do that, it's actually racist, that's actually bad, you know, right? but he, but he has no problem with, you know, like, with having to tolerate, you know, the N-word once in a while, right, but he even asks, hey, do I have an N-word pass, you know, at least he's actually considerate, right, other people on the right, though, they don't give a shit, they just say, it's all about free speech, I uh, don't like it too bad, and they just spam the N-word, it's like, why does everyone hate us white people so much, yeah, because you're an asshole, <laughs> you know, you know, it's like, uh, and then when, like, people actually die or get hurt because of racism they don't care like and that's the actual sin that's the actual problem well one of the reasons like i didn't actually say explain this further but like a big contributing reason to why i also unfollowed roosh was 
uh, unlike other people, uh, unlike other people who also say similar things about the China virus, right? That's what everyone's calling it. Right? Some people, I still call it the coronavirus, but whatever, right? You know, like the reason why some, I, like when some people say China virus and I don't feel they're being racist and the other ones that say it and I do feel that they are is because I can actually tell if they actually care or not, right? And I also use their, their followers and re retweets as indicators of that, right? When Rouge put out that one tweet that says, well, racism is more important than stopping the virus or something like that, right? How is that different from anyone else? I actually had to sit down and think about it and I realized, yeah, I made a reply to him, right? And not only did it not get too many impressions, no, like someone replied to me, said, no, I think this is fake when I was talking about like a, you know, um asians getting beat up by black people right because that's what's that's what happened here in new york city it's obviously still pretty muted luckily and you know the nypd has been pretty spot on on stopping hate crimes and shit right but not only did i reply politely and give them like the actual two article sources of actual crimes that piece of shit that replied didn't even bother clicking the article not because i could tell because i could look at the statistics no barely anyone looked at it nobody did it nobody fucking bothered Right, they just want to be fucking racist assholes, and that like that actually pissed me off, right? So you know, and you know why they're like that is because it's a reflection of who Roosh is, and that kind of like pisses me off, right? Now I kind of like I, I guess I kind of understand it, right? Like because he's um, he's half Armenian, and half Iranian, right? So like whenever he comes back to the United States, the FBI is always stopping him because they're always accusing him of being a uh, terrorist. Now, while he kind of understands it, the problem is he kind of accepts it, right? But he doesn't realize maybe that's not right. But on the other hand, I kind of understand why. So what's, you know, he, like, he, I guess he just made the decision. It's like, ah, it's 100% it's, it's acceptable. It's like, no, it's really not. But <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I mean, he's coming off from like the whole artisti slash uh you know chateau uh guy and whoever the guy is like he's like an actual neo-nazi apparently i always i just assume it was the same guy but according to mike Sarovich and others apparently he, he uh the original artisti gave up or handed his blog over to someone else in 2013 uh and then Rush himself said he doesn't know who runs it anymore right which also implies the same thing I don't know, based on the way the person talks and types, I don't think that's the case. I think it's actually the same person. That's my personal belief. And then he just became an angry uh, neo-Nazi. So, um, yeah. And it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, like you know, I, I think I'd rather have, I'd rather stick with Nick Fuentes, you know, at that point. right? Because he, he gets it. He gets it. Right? Not only he gets it, but he's also not, like, as big of an asshole as he, as he kind of portrays himself to be. He just, uh, you know... Uh, he he just says, um, you know, he just says rough stuff as as does everyone else. But what's the guy's intention behind what his rough stuff saying is, right? Not everyone has good intentions. So yeah, but uh, yeah, but anyway, that's what I've been thinking about. I just you know, and and, and like I'm consistently seeing this kind of like uh, dismissive behavior, you know, on the right, you know, where it's fake right or true right or whatever. And it's just like, oh my god. And it's like, 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 do I have to do everything? So I have to make a game. Then I have to get all the influence. Then I have to start like dealing, de criticizing, dealing with everybody. It's like, come on, man. <laughs> it's a, uh, but you know, whatever. It's I'll figure out a due time. Of course, the more paranoid I get, and you know, and I get rich, you know, I guess the more likely I'm just gonna have to like get more bodyguards and have them armed twenty four seven. And it should be pretty easy because in Florida, everyone's allowed to have a gun essentially, right? For the most part. At least, at least I assume I'll have more gun rights in Tampa than I would in New York City. But I don't know what the... Actually, Conceal Carry Tampa, Florida. I still have my proxy on, so... Uh, Tampa Carry, Concealed Weapons Per Florida, Tampa Carry... Yeah, see, there's a bunch of stores for this shit, right? If I do this in New York City, there's, like, nothing. Yeah, look at that. Look how many fucking... Look at this. 722, 242 ratings, 15. Where do I get a concealed weapons permit in Florida? I can apply for a CC... Well, I call it CCL, but CWL is the same thing. In person at the Florida... 
agriculture and consumer services what <laughs> well I, I guess if you're running a farm in florida i guess you gotta watch out for those wolves and alligators and uh bears right or whatever the hell lives in florida or an authorized florida tax collector's office in your area what the hell well i, I assume that means the uh the florida tax irs agents must have guns on them too it's like hey you need to pay your taxes fuck you and <laughs> they start drawing okay okay can i open carry on my property in florida uh florida does not allow open carry ah yeah i always wonder about it. florida used to yeah i always wonder what it was open yeah i, I actually don't mind like you i really don't like people open carry all right that's because i usually assume associate that with hey they're getting ready for action right and on top of that some if you have like a million people like open carrying, there's always going to be like that fraction of a 1% that are dumbasses or negligent. And then it'll just, you know, because um, gun accidents actually happen quite often. So, you know, you're going to wind up hitting somebody. And I remember, this was a long time ago, but the Petty Arcade guys, they live in Seattle, Washington, right? And back then they used to have like open carry or carrying guns, right? Because Washington State still was kind of right wingish. And then I guess. I guess now the demographics displacement has made it fully uh, shit lib, right? Anyway, he t uh, the Mike Krahulik guy, the co-founder of Penny Arcade, he actually was saying that he read an article about a guy who shot himself with his own gun, right? Because he was just careless. Because he was just like bent over to pick something up. It's like, yeah, like at least he didn't die, but he could easily have shot someone else. Or worse, he could have killed a kid, you know? Because... Yeah, kids are on the low ground, and guns are pointed downward because it's in your holster. So where do you think the bullet's going to likely go? It's very dangerous. So I'm actually pretty glad about the uh, open uh, open carry. Like, basically no open carry. Just have a concealed carry. Why do you need open carry for it, right? You, you know, you can just, <laughs> like, people will probably know you're armed. That's good enough. You can open carry on your private party. You can also open carry while traveling directly to or from... Or are engaged in fishing, hunting, or camping. The reciprocity laws often change. Okay, so I'm assuming if you're just going fishing, hunting, or camping, yeah, you're probably just walking back and forth to your target to your truck or something, right? So that's probably why they have this. But for the most part, like, you know, if I'm going in, like, the, the city area of Tampa, yeah, no open carry, right? Um, so... Well, that's the thing. Can you have your holster and have it displayed? No, actually, no. No, I guess that would count as open carry, right? It would have to be a concealed carry. So that means if I had like my gun on my right hip, I would have to have something covering it, right? Like my shirt or my jacket or whatever. Okay. I, I okay. I think that's what it is. Obviously, I'll actually know when this happens. Uh, there's no ban on taking guns into movie theaters, but state law is very, it is illegal to carry a concealed weapon into a theater in Colorado. Yeah. Uh, license to carry. Okay. All right. So either way, uh, yeah, Tampa is located in the Hillsborough County, I think. I believe that's, that's, that's a pretty common county that I see. So I think that's where it is. Yeah, and that's the thing. I really don't want to be carrying guns, man. It's like, dude, it's like we already have a pretty solid police force. I really don't want to be carrying guns. Then I have to worry about not accidentally hitting myself or someone else, right? So it's like, ugh. But on the other hand, you know, if I have to worry about crime, right? Yeah, I'm going to want a gun, right? I'm also probably going to definitely carry the um, the portable $1,000. Actually, they've gotten cheaper a little bit, like $950 or $900. Bucks. The portable... Uh, Kevlar class three uh, shields, so like you know, I can, I, can I can tank some bullets. I think it might stop 762 rounds from like a fucking AK. Uh, class three. Uh, let's see, heavy ballistic shield foldable. I think it's a class three. Okay, I don't want the actual like riot police because I can't because that's not foldable. That's an actual steel like piece of steel. Folding ballistic shield. Yeah, it's usually a typical level three. It's not like Tarkov where there's like level one through six. Like the class threes are. I think the classes are different. I'm not sure. Um. Oh, this is something where you actually put. F uh, Patent pending, hands-free, 
Uh, extremely versatile. Uh, no overlapping components. Oh, wait. This, this is designed for holding plates. I need to think that's an actual... Uh, okay. What was the... Th See, the problem is I wrote ballistic shield. Uh, I like how it's white cops arresting a black guy, and that's the picture here. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. But I mean, if you're a cop, like statistically speaking, like ha like what is it, forty, fifty percent of all the criminals you're going to be investigating and arresting are going to be black, and then the re and then like thirty four percent will be white, and then um, I mean, it depends. I mean, at least here in New York City, but. Uh, it really just depends. Actually, uh, yeah, the, uh, okay. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on it, but there's a foldable Kevlar shield, so you know. I don't know if those can stop 762. I know it can stop most pistol rounds, probably shotgun rounds. Obviously, if it's armor piercing, I'm dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, so 762, I'm not sure. But if it does, it's probably not going to block too many of them because it's it's a big, powerful round. But luckily, uh, the guy's accuracy is going to be really bad because, as I already know, <laughs> uh, the recoil at accuracy on AKs or on 762s, especially on full auto, is not very good. The classic throw the baby out with the bath war behavior markets or pricing agencies. Da -da -da. Okay, yeah. So, anyway, uh, Trump's doing all right. Not much here. So, where are we at? Oh my God, 26 and a half minutes in my rambling. All right. So, anyway, the whole point of this was. This guy re read an article that basically said that Rebel uh, is going to have to deleverage possibly, um, and of course it's affected negatively by coronavirus. So these are the Rebel. These are the components of Rebel. Like this is how Rebel actually makes money. So they get their dividend income from these companies. These uh, here's a here's a, like all of their names, <clears throat> and some of them have apparently have already suspended their dividend. All right, you know, this guy suspended, these two suspended their dividends. Here's a couple. One has rescinded a dividend. Ah, so that would be the risk. But I think for the most part, most of these guys will not be rescinding their dividend. Uh, but you got some delayed, so that's probably where some of it's coming from. Um, and this guy himself said he's been he's been bought uh, he's been looking to buy more uh, Rebel. He's also in the UBS equivalent SMHD. All right, so let's take a look at the new news. So basically, the important thing is it doesn't look like it's going to go to it's, it's not going to go to zero, and will, there will not be forced redemptions. But you know, with that being said, um, yeah, now we're going to be seeing uh, these uh, these uh, radiation glow sticks. Ooh, Rimmel's just taking a huge pounding. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more news check on Rimmel. See if there's anything new. Uh, past week. No. Okay. So this article down here is this one. Uh, declare coupon payments. Um, on April third, twenty twenty, announced expected coupon payments for the following ETNs. Okay. Closing indicated value on March thirty first, two thousand twenty, was two dollars and thirty nine cents. The coupon payment is. Uh, sixteen point nine cents. I'm surprised they're paying a lot of dividends. Oh, and that's oh, and that's the end of this article. So they're actually paying quite a lot of dividends. So hopefully, like these guys that have been writing about Rimmel, they'll actually explain what that really means. But for the most part, okay. Now I see what the risk is going to be. Uh, I don't want a lot of, co of these companies that these comp these Rimmel components are. Oh, guy made a chart. Um. Suspended, 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 rescinded. BV down 33%. What does that mean? Something value. Uh, new Residential Investment Corp is dividend. Oh, so they don't pay dividends yet. It's April 14th. Well, it's not going to be much. Suspended or delayed is fine. What we don't want is rescinded because that basically means they're not paying any more dividends at all, ever. Uh, I think that's what it means. If that happens, then Remel becomes worthless. So maybe that could be the risk of Remmel, but so far they look like everybody looks like they're really committed to paying the dividends. So because if you choose to just rescind and not pay the dividends, right, forever, that actually damages your reputation in the industry, uh, and that people are not going to want to work with you anymore. So 
I mean, look at how I reacted when UBS mandatory redeemed uh, MRRL, right? And I had to take the $35,000 loss in the stock market, right? I never want to work with UBS ever again. I don't give a shit. I don't care if they were forced to do it or whatever. Like, they, they should have known better, right? They're the multi-billion dollar so-called elite banking uh, firm. Why didn't they fucking know that, right? So, guess where I'm going to take all my mil multi-millions, right? I'm going to go to Credit Suzy. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and, yeah, I re read the prospectus, all right? Even with the law that requires that they say things plainly, they, it's not plain. It, it just it doesn't make any sense to me. All right. So and I had to actually take this shit in college. Like what 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 chance is the average, you know, person is going to have <laughs> uh, in understanding that stuff. So but either way, I'm definitely going to treat stocks just like I do cryptocurrencies. And I have to figure out when I'm going to dump stocks. Now, the thing is, depending on how bad this gets, I'm not sure if I'll actually dump in 2024. Right. But I'll have four. I basically have four years or four and a half years to think about it. U.S. won't defer tariff payments, citing, okay. Uh, uh, well, come out very strong. Of course, we're going to come out very strong after this. It's also kind of insane that dairy farmers are now dumping milk because of the pandemic. Hmm. I hope the small record stores stay open. Well, that's nice of this uh, stupid bitch. All right. Cutlow says U.S. won't defer. Yeah, she used to be a pretty good conservative, and then she became like a far-left shit-lib cunt. All right so you know uh i'm glad that she's a uh, single and then basically not going to reproduce because she pretty much represents a lot of the annoying attention gra uh, attention whoring feminazi bullshit that like and it also betrayed us conservatives so yeah no sympathy from me cutlow says us won't defer tariff payments citing complexity um what um yeah why would we relieve any tariffs right we are like the tariffs are barely what's keeping america afloat if we remove the tariffs then everybody goes bankrupt in america like fuck off you know i do know that china irritatingly enough is also advocating for removal of, of tariffs too but I, uh but i know they haven't been pushing too hard because i they know everyone's really fucking angry at china and rightfully so so, all right, before we end this, let's just see what's happening with coronavirus. Uh, so Trump brought in Jerry Kushner to help deal with this coronavirus stuff. What are at this point? I just don't give a shit. Like, whatever Trump has to do to get us out of this, then he does it, right? You know, whatever. And according to Nick Fuentes, the wall is being built. And technically, Jerry Kushner is in charge of that. So... I'm just going to lay off Jared Kushner for now, right? Only because of I'm going strictly by what Nick Fuentes is saying uh, about that. Because at this point, I mean, who do I can't really trust about the wall, right? Uh, pretty much no one's really talking about the wall at all. Like I think Michelle Malkin occasionally talks about the wall, but she's more focused right now on immigration, which is great. Uh, but I still want to know about the wall. Um, so far, it's Nick Fuentes. No one else on the on the new right or fake right or whatever or even talking about the wall which of course irritates me live updates and again also it is why i don't like it that all these assholes you know sucking all the attention the money and the social media because my fucking twitter account's still losing fucking followers right i'm now like losing because that's because i have to unfollow a lot of people and people aren't following me there are not uh they don't actually do anything they just want the follow back so it's like they're they're actually no no point Right, but I still find it annoying that I fucking can't get my message out, but all these fucking fake assholes can, and that's like really tilting. Coronavirus live updates cases top one million globally, but yeah. but whatever. When this is all over, we'll have it dealt with. Live updates: U.S. marks record number of coronavirus. Mr. Airflow punished for con. Okay, I don't care. In decision time for colleges, do we give coronavirus refund? What? Yeah, you should. Right. If they don't, that's Actually, if they don't, then this is going to make people hate the universities even more, and there'll definitely be more regulations. Like, a lot of things are going to change for the better after this coronavirus bullshit is over, and it's going to be a good, good thing. Uh, this is just weird. Coronavirus live updates for fine taking cruise passengers, Pelosi, da da da. Yeah, we can't strand them forever, but yeah. Navy released, Captain raised alarm about coronavirus outbreak. 
Record estimated duration of coronavirus uh, crisis. Uh, let me see. Yeah, they're working very hard to uh, health experts say. All right, so okay, yeah. I mean, it's just it's just hard, but yeah, this article is basically saying we're gonna have to keep things shut down for much longer. Yeah, that's that's such bullshit. Um, ideally, the more rural areas and maybe even like more spread out suburban areas they should be allowed to reopen even in a limited capacity depending on because again it's all about proximity and density right you gotta be careful and then for us city people right like in my case new york city well you know we're just gonna have to take it up the ass without our consent right because again i walk out and everyone's crowded right i can easily infect up to a couple thousand people just by myself right just walking back and forth you know if i only infect a couple hundred people that's like a 220x infection rate, right? Like that, which is 22,000 percent, right? Just for me walking out of my apartment once a week to buy groceries at Target. You know how dangerous that is, <laughs> right? So, um, yeah. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, just get the more testing, get the more isolation, just, just get what we can. Um, you know, we're just gonna have to hope that you know not too many people ignore the social distancing rules, like you know fucking Lucy and Wintrich is doing, um, and uh, yeah, and other people too. But it's like, you know, like I'm beginning to realize I should be a lot more uptight about like going forward. I'm definitely gonna start issuing either my litmus test or some kind of test to make sure that you're you're not a fake right piece of shit, right? You know, because I also have to do some sort of empathy test for for, uh, for people too, but that just kind of comes with time, so that's going to be a lot harder, all right? Um, but yeah, I mean, like, you, you can't be telling, you can't not only, you, you cannot be fucking going to crowds here in New York City and then actually tell everyone, hey, just come out, just ignore the ignore the thing. This whole thing's a hoax. That's bullshit. You're gonna get us all fucking killed. Number one, and then number two, you're gonna delay the problem. When China, like China has said they've been, I mean, they finally admitted they've been lying, but they still have it kind of under control, right? Because even if they're lying, you can only lie so much before, you know, our U.S. satellites, because we have them, we start noticing that, you know, they're cremating a lot more bodies than normal, all right? Because you know the United States government definitely is going to be on top of that shit, right? And they just don't see it because it's not happening as much, right? So, you know, and they did like a full hardcore style, like military lockdown, right? You know, we're not really, we're kind of doing that, but that's, I mean, I guess that's the debate right now. Are we doing, is it enough? Because again, we have these assholes congregating in crowds here in New York City. It, it, it's like, you know, you call yourself a fucking so-called conservative, you're responsible. You're not being responsible, you're being a fucking, you know, F word, right? You know, so... You know, and uh, yeah, you know, it's like, whatever. I'll just back Nick Fuentes. We'll write all this shit. And then whatever f em lack of empathy fallout happens, hopefully by then I'll be rich and famous and whatever. And then I'll have to fucking deal with it. Uh, so anyway, uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash uh, JFC radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. And, um, what you might call it, uh, yeah, or wherever you're watching this from, or on this page, or I don't know, I screwed it up. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go back to having a nice relaxing day, try to de-stress before I do some more coding over the weekend. Uh, let's see, I am up to, what am I up to next? Uh, item, making an item, oh, making items in an RPG, oh, that's gonna be fun. Hopefully it's not nearly as bad, though, because... Trying to create the interaction was just literally cancer. But yeah. But anyway, I'm learning, so that's that's what matters. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day or night. I will see you on tomorrow's video. Um I don't know, to be honest, I really don't feel like doing a video tomorrow, but I don't know, we'll see. Uh and uh yeah, for now, again, not doing anything. All right, crypto's going up, very good. Uh markets are going down, of course. Uh Remel tanking as expected. Uh, I'm going to buy at 50 cents to a dollar, maybe a dollar 25, but I'm going to have to really look at, I mean, I just need more data and the problem is it's the weekend. Well, actually, no, it, that's fine. If it's the weekend, then that means Remo won't be trading over the weekend as well. So 
Wait, what's AMZA at? Uh, oh, they completed the uh, reverse stock split. So now my shitty shares are continuing. See, and that's what happened to your reverse stock split, right? And it, now it's worth less. Uh, oh, well, what are you going to do? Um, I guess we'll I guess we'll use this as a uh, thumbnail. So anyway, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And always remember, Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. And I have no idea what I'm going to title this because... Yeah, probably just the standard stuff.